It's the weekly reset and we're gonna go over the new addition to Destiny 2 and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, for this week, we are going to start with the milestones first. And we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is the Tree of Probabilities. Next we have Leviathan, which you need to complete the Raid or the Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, or World Activities. This week's Flashpoint is on Nessus, and if you complete the heroic versions of this, you can get it done a lot faster. This week's Challenges is also on Nessus, and you need to complete three challenges while exploring Nessus. And last but not least, for our Milestones, we have the Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three of them. The new addition to Destiny 2 for this week is Rumble. It's a uh, six-player rumble, and it's a free-for-all. So, pretty much everyone for themselves. So, let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. All goods for trade. Like always, we are going to start with the wonderful shaders. This week, we have Shuffle Dance. Next, we have Call Me. Then for our wonderful speeder, we have the Vox Imperative. Just another reskin. For the ship, we have the Sailing Shield. Just another reskin. For our wonderful ornaments, we have Under Construction for the Tractor Cannon. Looks uh, pretty cool, I guess. Then we have the Mind of Its Own for the Darcy. I don't know, I really don't like the look of Darcy. The wonderful armor of the week is the Omega Mechanos Crown for the Warlock. Comes with one mobility and two recovery. This is what it looks like. Perks on this are Restorative Warlock Armor, Mobility Enhancement Mod, as well as Restorative Mod. And then we have a new Exotic Ghost, the Electronica Shell. That's pretty badass. Just might add that to my collection whenever I get rid of a whole bunch of shaders. Then we have your Cabal Arrival Transmat Effect. Shaders this week, we have the Tarnished Copper, which I think looks terrible on every class, no matter what class it is. And then we also have the Xeno Silver. Actually looks pretty cool. And last but not least, we have your Fireteam Medallion, your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, as well as of the Crucible. Don't forget to visit K6 in order to get these wonderful treasure maps that he has. And it is on Nessus for this week for a wonderful low price of 4800 Glimmer. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.